hi guys hi guys welcome back to my channel and uh it's good to have you guys here again today so maybe i'll just take it up a bit yeah so i i made a video about um erasmus fundings and all of that like uh total worth of the erasmus mundus uh scholarship and i've got a a couple of questions around uh is this money enough uh would this be enough to move you around the countries you're always moving around will, will it be enough is it enough and all of that so in today's video i want to be responding to all these questions and how it relates to your travel costs um if you would be able to travel around countries with this money how what are the other things we do basically questions around that what are the other things we do to limit uh to get um some form of extra help to um no extra finance rather so that's just basically what i'll be talking about in this video <laughs> I will just be responding to all of it so for me i would say that the 1000 euros has been uh it has been enough for me to manage my finances and manage myself across the different cities that i've been to i know that some cities are quite expensive i heard that paris is the most expensive city so but then i heard that you know some cities are really really expensive and a whole lot of that but i i i don't know how people there you know do their own stuff how they manage to you know keep their finances and all of that but i'm just saying for me i was able to manage my 1000 euros it was enough for me i uh, at least uh, like the money that i'm being given they're not expecting me to use that and be building house or it should be at least it's enough for me even though that i'm planning to buy a house in london but <laughs> but anyways i understand that okay people might need to meet some other obligations and all of that but for your studies like for my studies itself the money is enough because they're paying me they're giving me the stipend to to um, as a contribution to my study my living expenses and a whole lot of that it's quite enough you know when i was in uh glasgow i had to pay about uh the first place i stayed in glasgow my rent was 450 and then i had to pay about 50 pound for electricity bill the second place i stayed electricity plus rent was about uh 450 every month that was what i was paying 450 pound then i had to move to the thing is it, the the interesting thing is that i got a higher offer for a student accommodation where they were asking us to pay about uh, 600 plus pound every month and i said no i can't stay there i and that's why i had to go stay in a different place which was uh, a bit cheaper so even though i stayed in that student accommodation it would have still be enough to manage my finances so long as i don't spend uh it would have still been enough to manage my accommodation and a whole lot of that so long as i don't spend extravagantly and uh, things like that yeah and then also when i moved to dublin i would start by saying that for dublin which is probably um probably the most expensive place i've stayed so far i had to pay uh, 750 euros to stay in my accommodation i don't know if you've seen my uh room tour for dublin but if you've not seen it i will be linking it up i'll be linking it up i and just go ahead and see it so i was paying 750 euros for that room and it was a beautiful room big room i loved the toilet and bathroom it was spacious like it was big like ah my friend even commented on it so yeah basically i was paying 750 uh euros a month to to keep that room and it was a good place and um yeah so some of you would now be wondering if you were paying 750 euros i had to pay that amount and even with that amount i still managed to you know manage myself i made a video about that yeah i would just still link it up like i made a video about that and i talked about you know i manage my finances still save and uh still you know manage what i buy how i buy things every week and things like that so um while um you know it's able to for me it, it was able to carry me along the entire month and uh you know it's just able to carry me at the entire month so now i am in prague and in prague yeah, when i was coming here i was trying to get an airbnb which was mostly what my colleagues were trying to get i was trying to get that but the opportunities that i was seeing was like really expensive like 800 uh, euros 900 euros 1000 euros to so stay in a really explicit like flamboyant place fine place 
um but then i looked at that and i was like um that would be putting too much strain on me and my uh what i have this is what i have for every month and so i need to ensure that all my expenditure falls within that i don't need to go above it for whatever reason and so i started looking for other student accommodations i saw some for 700 saw some for 500 600 i saw some for 400 and some of them were taking and a whole lot of that so i saw to be honest i saw a couple of them and i was really willing to even go for the one for 700 or 600 but when i looked at it as a then i was planning on buying a new phone camera quality are you not saying that this camera now is better than when I was using this one so I was planning on buying a new phone and then I said to myself I want to buy a new phone by end of November to the start of January I want to have been able to pay for my new phone and for me to pay for my new phone which is iPhone 13 Pro Max that means I need to really save a lot I need to really save a lot and so that's why I started looking at the option of other student accommodation and so I had to I deliberately decided now so that's okay let me go for Charles University's student accommodation that it was offering us of course it was really cheap like my accommodation where I am now I'm paying about 100 100 pound about 100 pound a little bit on top of 100 pound every month that is what I'm paying to stay there now the place is not the you know beautiful and overly exquisite place it's just like a regular it's just a regular room just a room and it, what i initially paid for was supposed to be for two people well, one person but I, I will eventually got a place for that's supposed to be for two people but i'm just the only one there because i i actually asked them to give me a single room so since there's no according to the no single room left so they just left me in that one it's supposed to be for two people and then i'm happy i'm paying 100 plus every month just to stay in that room 100 plus every month like it makes a whole lot of sense like for me 100 plus like the last my uh, rent i paid i paid 102 uh 102 pound or so and and i'm able to like you know really save save a lot that's like i'm saving about 80 percent of my money like every month i'm able to save that and the the intention of it is i was expecting to use the money like i was expected to use the savings to buy my phone as at august that was the plan but interestingly i got a job that paid me and then i used the money to you know get this iphone and uh you know that's i have the iphone so the what i get now from um you know by saving a whole lot of that is not um i didn't i'm no longer now using it you know saving it to buy an iphone because i already got an iphone so uh basically that's how I'm managing to, you know, manage myself. I saw really expensive places and I saw, you know, quite a cheap place. The place I'm saying is not, you know, the best of it and a whole lot of that. And it's a regular student accommodation, student dumb. But it's interesting that I'm staying here for October, November, December, January, and probably February. So why you not just stay in this place and save the money? And aside that, you know, like I'm planning for a, a whole lot of other things. And so I... I had to, and there are other things I, I am currently involved. I have other commitments and a whole lot of that. And so I am actually, I just decided, you know, let me just take, let me just do this. I'm going to do this for now. And that would be it. But if honestly, like if you just want to see a video of what the room I'm currently staying in, what it looks like, I know you'll be seeing maybe the background. I'm currently not in my room, I'm at the office. I know you'll be seeing maybe the background and all of that. If you want to see where I'm staying and I'm paying like really, really cheap amounts, every month just let me know i would uh i'll make the video of it and yeah basically that's uh, i think it's quite uh enough and then for those people too who were concerned about travel or your travel travel i told you that you're being paid uh three thousand every year and travel in europe is really really cheap like traveling in europe really really cheap i can travel for less than 10 uh, 10 pound to a different country like it's really that cheap sometimes less than 19 sometimes this sometimes that like it's quite cheap at least based on what i am getting i can earn in at the moment and all of that so i think it's quite cheap to a great extent that's basically what i can say and yeah so if you have other questions uh, let me know so what i can just say yeah, i just depends on how the person decides to leave for me i chose to you know get the place in dublin and yeah it was like 750 
there were other um what my colleagues some of my colleagues got were quite like more expensive there were other places that would have been cheaper but i didn't want to stay too far from the school so i wanted to stay inside the school and uh, yeah that's why i got that one for the dublin and a whole lot of that this one too i uh, had my reasons which i've also stated why i'm staying in a cheaper really really cheap place even though it's not you know exquisite and all of that why i am staying here i have my plans what i'm looking at and of course um you know i'm also looking at graduation and a whole lot of that so i have my plans and i have to stick to my plan what i have to do and a whole lot of that so yeah i would say that um it's um it's a good contribution to my subsistence the 1000 uh, euros a month is a good contribution to my subsistence and yeah you would see other i've seen some other you know programs like phd and all of that they pay them that same 1000 euros and all of that and yeah i think um basically i think it's a good contribution uh to my subsistence and uh it's just all about management it's just all about management that's just basically what i can say yeah basically all about management and so let me know if you have further questions and i'm going to be responding to them okay so thank you bye